Dead men tell no tales. Sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein, despite the fact that he should have been on 24-7 suicide watch, was found dead in his jail cell of an apparent suicide. Wow, who could have possibly seen this coming? It's not like I wrote about this very thing happening again, again, and again. But I'm just a conspiracy theorist, so don't listen to me. It's not like under Suicide Watch, all objects that a prisoner could use to hang themselves are supposed to be removed to prevent this very thing from happening. It's not like Epstein was being filmed by CCTV under bright lights to prevent this very thing from happening. There are cameras everywhere in MCC where Epstein was locked up. It shouldn't be hard to figure out how this happened. Oh, but wait! Alleged camera malfunction last night at MCC where Jeffrey Epstein was locked up. Wow, what a coincidence. Okay, people, move along. There's nothing to see here. It's not as if, according to the Metropolitan Correctional Center's own rules, guards are supposed to keep the prisoner under, quote, direct continuous observation to prevent this very thing from happening. Who was guarding him? Jack Ruby? It's not like Epstein should have been under increased scrutiny given that he already tried to commit suicide just three weeks ago. Suicide Watch. Suicide Watch is an intensive monitoring process used to ensure that anyone except Jeffrey Epstein cannot attempt suicide. I was stunned by Epstein's suicide, though probably not as much as Epstein himself. But way. Now we learn, according to NBC, that Epstein wasn't on Suicide Watch, despite supposedly three weeks ago trying to commit suicide. Move along, there's nothing to see here! Jeffrey Epstein's suicide ends the criminal case against him because no one else was charged in the indictment. Oh, how very fucking convenient. So all those, quote, powerful men, named as being complicit in Epstein's crimes, now go completely free. Yesterday, thousands of pages were unsealed from Jeffrey Epstein's past cases. Many wealthy and powerful figures were named as alleged clients of his child sex trafficking ring. The next day, Jeffrey Epstein is found dead. Move along, there's nothing to see here! The influential elitist Epstein was set to name in return for a reduced sentence are all now safe from prosecution. It's almost like there's some kind of glaringly obvious giant motive shared by those powerful men to have Epstein silenced forever. But I wouldn't dare suggest that to be case, given that conspiracy theories are now on a par with terrorism. I wouldn't dare suggest that this goes way higher than Bill Clinton and Prince Andrew. I wouldn't dare suggest that this suicide was a warning to other witnesses to keep their mouths shut. I wouldn't dare suggest that Eyes Wide Shut was a documentary. Move along, there's nothing to see here! How's the media gonna spin this? Well, just like literally everything else, they're gonna blame Trump. Despite Trump being one of the few high-profile persons who actually distanced himself from Epstein when the charges were first revealed, despite Trump kicking Epstein out of his Mar-a-Lago club after he caught Epstein hitting on a young girl, despite Epstein's accusers saying Trump didn't have sex with or even flirt with them, and despite opposition research firm Fusion GPS attempting to discover a close connection between Epstein and Trump, but failing. And yes, they're already blaming Russian agents for killing Epstein. Really? I don't recall there being many Russian agents who appeared on the Lolita Express flight log 26 times. Also, maybe you're not the most credible person to be talking about the surprise discovery of dead bodies. But don't worry, because the FBI is investigating. You can be confident in trusting the agency of Peter Strzok and Lisa Page to uncover the truth. Move along, there's nothing to see here! It's absolutely crucial for you to help me fight the war on free speech by supporting me via subscribe star, link in description, and also signing up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter.